Hey everybody, this is Vril. Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 in our playthrough as the Vikings. So we just finished integrating one of our vassals that had most of Ireland and Scotland here. So we've done that and that is very good for us. We also helped Brandenburg in their war with Saxony and they gained a little bit of territory themselves. So we've got a bunch of new units. I actually culled some of them and are actually because they were over the force limit our navy was exactly at the force limit but we're gonna go ahead and merge these guys up i would say yeah all right so otherwise we need to probably get a diplomat going here not really exactly sure the uh palatinate here maybe Bohemia probably doesn't. Nobody's gonna like us right now. We have a bad diplomatic reputation, and especially if they're strong types, then they probably don't. Okay, we have a Burgundian Low Countries there. I didn't see that before. I'm not really sure who to try to get close with. Somebody that would help with going into Denmark. I mean, that would be Muscovy, but they're too far away to help us out. Maybe at least improve with probably really far with these guys but yeah let's just go ahead and improve with Hungary here if you got no skin in the game against like France or anything like that the Austria obviously rivaled with France so there's nothing gonna happen there and actually we're thinking to be colonizing sometime very soon. We're actually in range for Greenland, but I'm not sure if we can really afford it at the moment. So I'll at least set a policy, and I think we'll go with the middle ground here in the native trading policy. I think that would be good. We don't want to do repression. We'd either do coexistence or we would do trading, but I think I'll go with the native trading policy. And yeah, we have a bunch of claims. Probably don't need any of those at the moment. We've got loans. Let's just go ahead, get this thing going, and make sure that we're not losing a bunch of money. We have a bunch of our forts turned on to keep our army maintenance from completely destroying itself. Yeah, we actually have four of four forts. Yes, yeah, so Sweden's asking, but I really don't think that we're ready for that. They always ask me when I'm not ready for it. All right, so these guys can be merged. Well, they probably have to be mothballed first. Yeah. All right, so transports. We have 15 transports. And we have this one heavy ship that's going to merge up with these other heavy ships that we had previously built. So we got a decent navy. So yeah, we are at... Actually, we're one under our naval force limit. But we... I was going to say we could probably build another bark, but I'm not sure. Wait a minute, we have... Okay, yeah, these guys are smart and actually merged up, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. I see some of these guys are not repaired. Let me go ahead set their mission settings. I think that might be because they were from uh, possibly from Ulster there that we vassalized, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So Scotland has announced. I thought they already did that. I thought that could be like bugging out occasionally. We'll actually be ready to go to war with them again in I think it's 1503. Alright, so we have a, another new error. And we'll go ahead and change this name to another one of our Patreon supporters, Ken Liang. So we'll go with Ken, and we'll, our succession will be safe. It's a decent ruler, not the worst, not the best either. So we'll go with that. We appreciate Ken for his Patreon support. So we were improving with France because that had actually dropped quite a bit recently. So we'll... Improve with them. We'll probably... Yeah, let's see here. We've got... Unfortunately, we've still got this 
interest, and because we're we have all these forts up, it's really costing us a lot. Maybe we're going to have to turn that off, actually. Those forts, at least a couple of them. Let's go ahead and turn off this one in Cumbria, and possibly the one over here in Ireland as well. Fortunately, we'll be losing our army tradition because of that, but it's been slowly growing. We've had a lot of wars, so it's going pretty decently. Once we finish off with France here, I'll have to uh, check to see what they're thinking in terms of wars here. Get them all the way to 100 and then I'll cancel that. We were checking this a lot last episode as well, so Verden finally wouldn't join, but... Brandenburg not interested either because they're in debt. And we don't have 10 favors with the French anymore. I guess we'll probably have to do this after this next war we have against England, most likely anyway. So that is unfortunate. So Livonian order completely hate us. Don't like that we're not the same religious. Trust our uh, distance between borders. Yeah, nobody's really liking us. Looks like we might have dropped with... Yeah, we did drop because we didn't... We re rejected their independence bid. If they could get somebody else to go with us, then that would be good. Sure, we... Maybe improve with the Papal State. <laughs> Can they uh, accept an alliance? Uh, probably not. Austria is, like, really far away from it. Actually, what was that? Hesswood. Let's improve with Verden since they're allied with the with Denmark there. They're actually pretty close as well. They like that we have a friendly attitude towards them. Let's go ahead and manage that. Keep that friendly attitude. Even though they're a bishopric and we are obviously Norse. I'll go ahead. I think I'll try to get an alliance with them. They probably have quite a few favors with with Denmark, though, so it might not help. But we don't have many options here, so we might as well try it. Got a lot of advisor maintenance here, too. Yeah, we might have to cancel some of these guys. We'll probably just wait for them to die off. Really close on military power as well. We're actually going to try to... Maybe get that in early? It's a little kind of a waste, though. Military access from Mecklenburg. Why? I don't see them being at war with anybody. Okay, we managed to convert the heretics of Cumbria to the one true faith. It's actually ready to go into this missionary strength plus 3%. How close were we? Aggressive expansion impact. Alright, well... I don't think we really need to go into this very much more. But yeah, look at this speed that we can do these now. So we'll just keep going into all of these, 13 months, but basically a little bit more than a year. We did have one of these that were a mission. I think, okay, it was for Ulster, there we go. Good stuff. So we have the Colonize Vesta Bigdin, something like that. That's our colonies up here in, or a possible colonies over here. So we've got Eric's Fjord and however we'd say that. So I guess we'll go ahead and take that. What's it going to give us if we actually do that? Settler chance, global settler increase. Is there any time limit associated with this? I'm not seeing it. Obviously 10 years from now for that whole deal. 
Oh yeah, I didn't mention that we actually do have a new leader because our leader, Duke Vril, died and then our Maxwell, our previous heir, had also died as well. We now have Duchess Elizabeth Vril here, so she's pretty good. Alright, well we're going to need to do a little bit of exploration. So we're going to need to actually cancel their mission for the moment. And not sure why we can't create a new unit. There we go. We'll go with these name ships just in case we lose them. So these guys will continue on with their protect trade. Looks like North Sea is still the best. These guys, because we need three for exploration, I'm going to go ahead, recruit an explorer, Eskild Burr. It's not very good, but let's see, we just have to click that and he'll go explore the North Atlantic there. And actually, let's go ahead and get a couple transports here. And unmothball them. I'm actually going to bring these guys over to our main stack. And take a couple infantry guys when we actually want to colonize that. I think we'll be able to do it. Yeah, we're actually in range to do all that. Settler chance, 16%. So the love of the devoted. Our love of the true faith knows no bounds. And our people feel secure and safe knowing this. Their fate after death is the number one concern. A right, tolerance of the true faith, and this will be good for the clergy. Yeah, I figured that taking over Scandinavia would be easier in this than taking over England, but... I think I was pretty much wrong with that. Obviously, we're still pretty early in the game, but kind of want to get that going a little bit more before the Reformation hits. So, in time, many of our everyday occurrences in life of our Duchess and our, her predecessors has become a subject of ceremony. Being able to attend the bedroom of the ruler as she dresses, for instance, is considerably considered by many of the best way to gain the ear of the Duchess. So, anyway, let's keep this. Keep it at a modest level. They're wanting attention here. Nobility, we're not going to be losing that. We have really good prestige. The nobility is already 15 loyalty, 10 influence. Keep it at a modest level, I think, is what we're going to have to do. All these are losing it other than this one. National tax modifier, I don't want that. Yeah, keep it at a modest level. All right. We're still pretty stable for the most part. So this guy merge up there and I'm going to take a couple infantry guys with me and put these guys on over here. And we will take these guys for when we actually colonize. We'll put an army over there where we're colonizing so that the natives don't kill us. And I'll put these this transport over there with them too. Alright, we're really close to our cap with the military power, so let's see how close are we to teching up. I probably shouldn't do this. We are actually close. I'm gonna wait on it since we're not actually about to go to war. Let's go ahead do a little bit more development as we always do. Got to get something for this, though. These numbers seem a whole lot lower than they did previously. I guess, are these new? Yeah, these are new areas. Might still be cheaper to do the more expensive ones. Looks like a 275 there. Alright, he's done. One forty-five. Okay, we'll do that, and just keep that military power close.
And we will mothball these guys. I think that we probably really close to our max, so let's go ahead turn on a little bit of our army maintenance so that we can start to re reinforce our guys here. Obviously that's going down for a number of reasons. We've got double missionaries that's costing a ducat. We've got fleet. It's bigger than it used to be. We've got this guy exploring over there. Soon we're going to have colonial maintenance. Obviously we have all of these lands that are new and not producing because they're Catholic. And we've got this relations with Hungary here. Just thinking who to go into. Utrecht, maybe? Who are allied with? Mecklenburg, Oldenburg. Let's actually improve with... Wait, they're... Gotta find somebody that isn't rivaled with who are... Utrecht. Let's... They'd actually take an alliance at this moment. Let's get this diplomat back. And we'll improve with them first before we do anything with that. Actually, how close are we? I think we have... I think we might only have two diplomatic relations at this point. Yeah, because we just got rid of that. Okay, we've got some... Uh, renewed the loan there. Alright, so we've had this guy explore. So we'll continue... Probably won't be able to go very far. But assuming he's able, willing and able to get to wherever I'm sending him, I guess that's what I'll do. Advisor maintenance. I think I'm going to have to fire somebody here. I think I'll get rid of my military guy since we're gaining. We have a lot already. For the longest time we really didn't have any... Okay, we've got more of these guys. I guess it's also because of, yeah, all these. missionaries that we have cost quite a bit as well. Alright, the uh, Heretics of Konak continuing on. So I guess we won't be doing this uh, like two or three more years. National Unrest will keep that guy on. Morale of the navies, let's get rid of him. All right, so this guy needs another mission. Just continue going down to all these areas. I think he only goes to the ones he can really get to. Alright, so we need about a thousand more guys, and then we will be able to have a full strength army here. I think we've got 25k. Sweden asking for independence once again. Still don't think we're quite ready for that. Improved relations with Verden. Oh, let's actually bring that guy back. Let's see if they'll accept an alliance. They actually will. We'll probably do two alliances here. So Verden. I don't know if this will really help, but we'll see. Says we kind of ask because we did not have the positive opinion from them. We did say that we were friendly with them. Let's go ahead and ask these guys then. 
All right, so we've got an alliance with Utrecht. I don't know what their army size really is, but they've got a decent leader. We need to have a positive opinion of them currently at 86. Okay, so that looks like it might have flipped. Or is it that their opinion of us? Who are we allied with that's a rival? Do we, yeah, we did get to the max with them. All right, well, who else could we improve with? Our Brandenburg. Actually, we haven't improved with them for a while, so let's go ahead and do that. It's the world of working with two, with only two of our diplomats here. So let's see. We want to send these guys off. Hopefully, we don't. This doesn't cost too much. I'm not sure what it costs to... Okay, so what we want to do actually is go here. And we're going to be sending these guys as well. So we've got our colonists. So animists, Arctic, obviously. That's not very good for our developments and all that. Probably take a really long time to colonize this. We'll see. Let's see, what is the cost? I'm not seeing anything at the moment. So I'm missing at it. Uh, improvements of land technology. Our generals are discussing the impact of some new weapons and the local gunsmith has been making, so... Where's our inflation at these days? Actually, let's just go ahead and take that inflation, because it's almost to 2.0, and when you spend this admin on reducing inflation, it takes a 2.0 down. Be able to do a free upgrade for the most part, on some development here. Or we could actually go into military tech. We'll be so far ahead. I just don't see the reasoning in behind doing that, though, because we're not actually at war. If we were at war, it might be an idea. Let's spend a little bit of this. Some of these better provinces that we have. I would expect once these guys all get converted and have better autonomy, then they'll probably be putting outputting more manpower. I'm assuming, anyway. So we've got our first colony going here. Got our guys, hopefully they don't get lost. Our explorer... Back to exploring, so... Uh, American East Coast, I don't think they're going to be able to get that far. Maybe be able to get a couple more provinces. Alright, so these guys are ready to go if there's a uprising of some sort. And these guys... We can't actually go there. Can head on back to Sligo, I guess. Converted the Heretics of Leinster. Seem to be making some money now. Whatever I did, I guess firing some advisors certainly helped. Uh oh, our vessels were lost, so our two transports that we were just bringing back were lost. Okay, well, that's alright. These guys were about done as well. And Tyrone, and we'll head on to uh, Ayrshire here. Alright, well it does look like we're out of time for this episode, so we started our first colony, we've converted a ton of provinces already to the Norse faith, things are going quite well, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, if you did please hit the like button, it really helps out the channel, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you guys next time.